Roll it. Apple's iWorks takes aim at Google Docs, a virtual tour of one of the world's largest aquariums, and a boom job that defies gravity. I'm John P. Geek Beat begins. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by QNAP. Network storage made awesome. If you're wondering whether you should pay to use Apple's platform or use Google's free apps in your business, you're not alone. At GeekBeat, for instance, this episode was edited on a Mac, but before we go into production, it's written in Google Docs so everyone on the team can contribute, no matter what kind of device they're on. If we were all on iOS all the time, Apple's iWork for iCloud would be an option, but even then we'd have to accept smaller limits on document size as well as the number of people who could access it. Until now, Apple has upgraded iWorks to be more collaborative, where before you could share the work on a document, presentation, or spreadsheet with only 50 people, now your team can be as large as 100. Do you need 100 people on one spreadsheet? What are you doing? <laughs> also increase the maximum size of your shared document, a whopping one gigabyte, a one gigabyte spreadsheet. Yikes. Apple is clearly gunning for Google in the office. By the way, speaking of all your documents, my preference is to use my own server to store them. Why trust the cloud? It's full of robots, and you know where that's going. Instead, get yourself a QNAP and install the QSync app on all your computers. It'll turn your QNAP into your own private Dropbox service. Another option is to install the Google Drive QNAP Sync app, which will at least mirror all of your Google Drive content onto your local QNAP. You know, for the day when the overlords decide to crush the resistance. Everyone else will be crying, but you'll have everything on your QNAP. The tutorial for how to do all of that is at geeky.tv forward slash QNAP tutorials. Get you one. Speaking of enhancements, from Europe comes word of a breast augmentation breakthrough. Yes. What's being called an internal bra that promises to keep newly uh, fluffed up breasts from succumbing to gravitational forces and sagging over time. The Orbix Breast Support System attaches silicon straps to the ribs, creating a bosom buddy, or a hammock, if you will. Over 50 procedures using the Orbix system have been performed so far, and rest assured, I will be watching the results closely, and I'll keep you abreast of any developments. Quite a bit to report from the Googleplex. The newly released Chrome OS version 35 includes voice search using the OK Google command. To enable it, look for a checkbox in the privacy section of Google's Chrome OS advanced settings. If you're a cyclist, Google Maps has a present for you. They're adding elevation info to bike routes so you'll know how hilly they are. That's the good news. The bad news is that elevation information is only available on web-based Google Maps, but not on mobile maps. If you don't want to strap your computer to your handlebars, you'll need to check this feature out before you head out on your ride. Finally, if you always wanted to visit the Monterey Bay Aquarium but haven't gotten around to it, now you can without ever leaving your chair. Another gift from the Google, Google Maps team, they've added exterior and interior street views of the aquarium complex, which allows you to take a virtual tour anytime you feel like it. Once you tire of the 360 degree tour of the still images Google captured during their day in Monterey, head over to the aquarium's website. They've got seven live cameras online, including otter and penguin cams. Sorry, no mermaids. By the way, did you notice they only have seven? We actually have eight drop cams at geeky.tv forward slash drop cam. Okay, gotta go. All this talk has made me a hankering for some seafood. Feel free to hang out with your fellow geeks in our chat room at geekby.tv or in our G Plus Geeks community. I'm John P. Bye.